Oh, <laughs> it's an eight millimeter. I need a nine. There we go. Hold on. I need a hammer. That should do it. Dang it. Flashlight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if this guy's ready to go. Matt. Matt, you ready to film? Thank you. Matt. Oh, hey. Hey, you ready? Uh, yeah. Hold on, just one second. <sighs> Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Let me tell you, Raid has taken over and gaming will never be the same again. This is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone. They really set the bar high these days. The newest addition to Raid is a legendary champion from High Elves faction, Deliana. Deliana is one of the strongest support champions in the entire game. Her skill sets and abilities are helpful for all players regardless of what stage of the game you're in. They are currently running a special Deliana Chase event where old and new players can get your hands on the amazing Deliana. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 20th and you'll get Deliana for free. Oh, also, right now all new players can use promo code MYDELIANA to get 50 XP brews to instantly get Deliana to max level 50 and a ton of silver. There's a ton happening in Raid this month. They have special events every single day, including an entirely new event for the summer solstice called the Path of Light. You'll be able to explore three branching paths to get the rewards you want. On top of that, there's some sweet new champions coming out and a set of skins for the amazing Trenda Guilt Mallet. If you click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen, you'll get $30 worth of unique bonuses, a free epic champion Virgis, 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, and it's just that easy. Click the link in the description, and I will see you in the game. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today, we have another torture to death test on this Mossberg 590A1. But this actually was not sent to us by Mossberg. This was sent to us by Nightstick, because on the end of this shotgun is a Nightstick SFL, a shotgun four-end light and they said that their shotgun four and lights are super rugged super robust and strong and they believe that it can do very well in the torture to death demolition ranch challenge this is uh something i've never used before it is a nightstick sfl shotgun four and light it has 1200 lumen light it also has a laser i can click it to just laser or i can make it go to just a light or i can do both What's interesting is that green laser is coming, I think, from the center of this flashlight, which I didn't even know that was possible. So the light and flashlight are coming out of the same orifice. You can see the laser out here. It is broad daylight. It's 2 o'clock in Texas summer right now. And we got us a good little laser. We're going to do some pretty scientific testing to see, oops, um, to see if everything continues working um, under stressful conditions. Uh, so we'll just... Um, start the test in a minute we'll probably start the test uh, to make sure that everything works good on this shotgun let's go ahead and shoot it a few times first though and just make sure the shotgun works but we're really not here testing the shotgun shotgun's fine we're here to see if this nightstick can hold up to demolition ranch sorry about that sorry <laughs> and we're going to try out duck shot you've probably heard of buck shot it's made for shooting bucks it's actually not really it's just really big pellets uh, for shooting whatever you want to shoot. Duck shot makes you think it also might be some kind of interesting pellets. <laughs> You'd be right. Um, there are actually, there's rubber duckies in it. I have no idea. But one of you guys sent this to me. Big thanks. I'd never heard of duck shot, and I'm really excited to see. It's got 
three rubber duckies in each one, plus some white BBs, and it feels light. I think they're gonna be like ceramic or something. Very interested to see what happens with some duck shot. We're gonna get to that in a minute though. Let's just shoot some regular bird shot out of this thing and see if she functions. Two, three. I actually used to have a Mossberg 590. Four, five, six, and I think I destroyed it. Ah! Six. So six plus one. I think I've had two Mossberg 500s, one Mossberg 590. Um, they're both great shotguns. Uh, they're pumps. 590s have the safety up here. This one has ghost ring sights. They're good little pump action shotguns. I think, let's see, well, this one is unfired. It was a brand new gun. Um, it came with a little bit of dirt and stuff on it. I'm not sure what that's about. I forgot I already put one in the chamber. One more. I'm gonna try to hit this red plate from the hip. Too high, okay, shotgun works good. Now, let's try shooting from the hip, but with a laser and see if I can make this work. Yep, there's a hit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Even in bright daylight, we can see our laser. Let's go for that white one again. Woo! Oh, I think I shot under that time. These guys are obviously very proud of their laser. They built a strong one because it's going to be on a 12 gauge shotgun, which kicks a lot. It's going to have to take a lot of, a lot of force and still keep going. And they do have adjustments. You can adjust it if you want, if it's a little off. Um, right there's your up and down. There's your right and left. This is cool. I just like lasers. We should have filmed this video at nighttime. That would have been way smarter. My bad. Now for the torture test. Just because it's attached to the shotgun, we're gonna end up torturing the shotgun a little bit as well. So we might as well just go all in with this and the gun. We do a little ranch dressing gun lube to lube it up. We're just gonna put a little bit of ranch dressing all over the light. Um, and might as well give a little bit in here too. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, put a little on this side too. Make sure to get on the switches there and a little bit there for effect. Now, does the light and laser combo, there's the laser and let's see if we get the, yep, light and light and laser. That still seems to work pretty good. Now let's go ahead and shoot around through it and see if the shotgun works. One shell in there and light laser still works and mm -hmm. shotgun still works, light laser still works. I love the smell of ranch. Test number one, passed. Great job, Nightstick. Test number two is the hardest test that any firearm can endure. It is the super fine glitter test. We have uh, extra fine glitter. Uh, we're just gonna, oh, I'm downwind. Just gonna sprint. Oh, that looks cool when it hits the light. What if I make it hit just the laser? Whoa, cool, rainbow six. Okay, we're just gonna throw some in here too. And uh, let's get some on the other side. Oh yeah, oh, look at that. Thing's fancy. Okay, um, why did I do that? That was, I don't know what to do. I got ranch all over me. Let's go ahead and 
Load her up. Oh, it just dumped glitter on me. And fire. Firing. Oh, it's getting very slippery. Light still works. Laser light still works. Mossberg still works. I just, I just have to know. <laughs> oh, look at all that mud. That was way splashier than I thought it would be. Oh, we got our camera real bad. <laughs> We're back. You guys okay? Still a little dusty, but you'll be all right. All right. All right, let's get a little mud in here. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. All right, so flashlight completely soaked in mud now. Um, let's see if the buttons still work. Where are the buttons? Laser. Light. Laser. And... That's just a laser. That's a light laser. Go ahead and turn it on in case any zombies walk up. Oh, that feels very dirty. But pump shotguns usually run pretty well. Let's see if it does. Oh, I just threw stuff all over me. We are good to go. Light laser combo still on, running strong. That means it's time to take this test to the next level. Test number what, L, we're going up this thing and we're going to drop the shotgun in three, di <coughs> three different ways onto my dirty manhole. First up, <coughs> dang it, hold on. Holy, hold on. It's fine. Light. Oh no. I thought I broke the laser. There was just dirt in front of it. Okay. So you can see on the manhole right now, I got a laser. There's a light. There's a light laser. So I can aim straight down. But first, I think we're going to do butt stock first. This gun is unloaded. Safety on. Light and laser on. I think, nope. Hold up. Yeah. Light and laser on. Butt stock first. Straight into my manhole. <laughs> Turn the light off. That could be bad. Haha. <laughs> light laser. Still on. This looks good too. We're solid. Let's see. If she runs, firing. I like it. Light laser on. Guns empty. We're gonna do on the side test this time. Three, two, one. Straight into my manhole. Light stayed on. That's good. That's a that's a win. Light laser still on. Light laser, still on. Let's go back up and take a better look at straight in the middle of my manhole. The last test, we drop it straight down. All right, light laser, both on. We're gonna go barrel first. Ha, man, you can see it down there. Right on that. From up here, my manhole looks super tiny, but it's actually really big. All right, I'm gonna aim my laser right at the manhole and see ya. turned off again. That hit pretty hard. Let's check it out. Place your comments below. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, we still got a light and a laser. 
Okay. Eesh. I don't, I don't really know if I should fire that. Yeah, just do it. It's probably not safe. I was going to anyway. It's yeah. fine. I, I was just kidding. Good to go. We have uh, successfully made it through the first, I don't know, 40 tests or something. We have one more test, but before that, we need to test out the duck shot. There's still mud on you guys. Oh, hey, uh, we're gonna shoot this duck shot right here. I mean, I don't know if you guys have really looked it up close, but there are baby little rubber duckies in there. I don't know if they're actually rubber. They look rubber, but I've never actually seen one out of the shell. So we're gonna actually shoot them at this guy to see how powerful duck shot is. Would it stop a duck? Would it stop an intruder? The world needs to know, and we're here to give you answers today. These are very light rounds. So, oh, there's some dirt in that mag tube, jeez. Oh man, our sight's a little bent, just realized that. The question for you guys, would you rather fight a horse-sized a horse duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? All right, going in at his chest. That was pretty wimpy. Oh, so those, those are like hard plastic because that's just a duck head. Uh, what happens with really light loads is they don't stay in the chamber long enough. Sorry, you guys okay? God, you're just dirty again. They don't stay in the chamber long enough to burn all that powder. And so that was a super quiet little thing. Let's just back up and do it again. It did scrape a little bit of the paint off of them, but that probably wouldn't hurt very bad. All right, firing. What the heck was that noise? Last duck round. Are y'all hearing weird noises? Yeah. Oh, I just threw unburned powder all over me. The duck shot, it's a gimmick. <laughs> Who knew? I thought it actually might be the latest and greatest, but it's, it's a total gimmick. Let's see if we can find some ducks. Well, those ducks are just hard plastic. They're not rubber duckies. We've been bamboozled. Um, it, it, it knocked the paint off, but that's about it. Kind of weird. Uh, anyway, yep, I would not recommend duck shot for home defense. Unless your home is being invaded by a hundred duck-sized horses, then it's probably okay. Oh, hello. You guys see my new Toyota? I think the exhaust just fell off. Yep, it did. Light laser combo, still working great. We're gonna tie her on and Take her for a nice little drive. <laughs> Very nice. Nice and easy. Safety first, because we're going super easy. Y'all want to hear how well your new Toyota starts up? Get ready. I mean, listen to that baby purr with no muffler back there. We're just going to go nice and easy. I've really uh, babied this truck for you. You're gonna love it. Dang. So far, I think we've done this test on two other guns and they've been completely destroyed at the end of it. Uh, this one, there was no fancy camera stuff in here. We did not come put a different thing on here. This is the same light and you can see the laser is still on as well. Uh, I can turn on just laser, just light, light and laser. Off. What the heck? All right, does the shotgun work? Dude, this shotgun for sure would still work. Well, I guess we give it a shot and we see if the shotgun will. It's 
definitely got some friction in it now, but and a little little laxity in there. But I think I think it's still gonna work. Let's see what we got here. I have a live 12 gauge round. We're gonna shoot it out of the back of this awesome Toyota truck. Toyota trucks are kind of the indestructible trucks of the truck industry and Mossberg 590s and 500 series are kind of the indestructible shotguns. So we got a pretty good package here for you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fire it. Let me go get my, my laser. I'll just have laser only this time. So I wanna fire it out like this in case the gun explodes. Hit it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, I think our first gun to survive the Demolition Ranch torture to death test. What if that broke it right there? It's just like it broke in half. Nice stick, thank you for sending that. You guys are awesome. They believed in their product. They did not pay me a penny. They just said, hey, you wanna destroy it? And I was like, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, we did not get the job done. Hmm. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I think you guys are great. Um, uh, yeah, I, all right. I just want to be friends. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not ready to commit like that. And I'll see you next time! <laughs>